Hello everyone, it's me Chanel here with our topic of the week and this one comes from L Teddy 27 Elton, you know I didn't even have to see who it was just by reading it, I already knew it was something that he had chosen and it's time for us to start doing, like I said, this is Common Sense TV dealing with some real stuff, some real issues and some real topics just straight talk from some straight people well you know what I mean. Um, we're going to get to the meat of the matter of a lot of things. And I was most excited when I opened up my email and read this. Elton has chosen this as the topic. Forgive my Twitter. Um, latent homophobia seems to be deeply embedded in the fabric of the black community for many reasons. In recent years, however, there seems to be more acceptance of black lesbians in the black community while there's still an intense hatred for black gays, meaning the homosexual males, in my, in your estimation, what is the reason for this turn of events or this acceptance of one group of homosexuals in the black community and not the other? And how do we change this problem? Will this problem ever get any better? Elton, thank you so much for giving me this. You made my Christmas come early. Um, I think that the diverse reasons of uh, acceptance between black ma black homosexual males and black lesbians is because, for the most part, and y'all know I've been talking about this for the longest, I don't judge nobody because you know I live my life very wild. I've done everything that I want to do in life. But you have to think about the things that you do in life. I think that a lot of the problems and acceptance issues that the black male, the black gay male experiences is due to themselves. Um, Y'all know how I used to go in when we'd be watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know, everything, it's all good and everything's all fine and fun and games. But if you want to be seen as a real person, respected as a real person, you need to act like one. All of those gay men on that show were like Paris Hilton's dogs. You know what I'm saying? They're just were those black women's um, show poodles. You know, so who takes them people serious? Black lesbians, lesbians in general, period, if you ask me. This is just my personal opinion. Um, are not so wrapped up in their sexuality as um, gay men are. It's okay to be proud of who you are and to live your life openly, but some people just take it too far to me. I mean, all that flaunty, flaunty, you know, that's not gay pride, all this, you know. It's just being you, doing what you normally do. And if you want people to accept you for who you are, like, if my, like my life is different from yours. If you want people, and that's why I'm so open about being transsexual. If you really want people to accept you for who you are and respect you and respect your life, you don't have to, I don't have to constantly go out saying, I'm part of the LGBT community. I'm gay. I'm this. I'm lesbian. I'm transsexual. When people see that you are more like them than different, because, you know, people are always, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. I'm black, I'm white, I'm la la la. When you want to be, a, see, this is my issue with the gay community. A lot of people are saying, I want, I'm just like you. But then you go out of your way to show and act and prove just how different you are. Just be you. Why be normal? Why not be, that, that's being normal. You know, um, it has nothing to do with sex and sexuality. You know, and so I think it's easier because a lot of the lesbians are just themselves. It's not all about their sexuality. I feel like gay men want to shove their sexuality down your throat most of the time. And actually, if you're not going to sleep with the person, what does it matter who you're sleeping with? That was one of the reasons why I fell in love with the Black Five Black Guys collab channel. Because it was such a diverse group of black men who happen to be gay, not gay black men. I have a problem with gay black men because you're letting 
something that you do 10% of the time dictate your whole entire life. You're not gay all the time. You're gay when you're having sex. You're a black man first. You know, let's start with the important stuff first. So, um, and that's how I live my life as a transsexual, you know. Th that's not the most important thing about me. And that's why people off time forget, even when I'm not looking so very passable. And lesbians are the same way. You know, it's not all about that. Okay, I'm lesbian, but I'm a woman who happens to be lesbian. That's what pride is. So, um, I think that that's part of the problem. A, a, along with, and I'm not going to take up a whole lot of time because we got four great other people going to come on and I know they're going to bring this up. But you do realize that in black and Latin communities, there's this machismo thing and this a man must be a man. So I'll let one of you guys deal with that because I'm too much like you to talk about that. Take care of my pump because I love you. Thank you, Elton. We're getting to the meat of it now. I can't wait to see what this collab channel brings in the new year. I love all you guys. Thank you all for so much for doing this. Oh, and that's another reason why I chose who I chose. Because I think that, see, I'm a transsexual woman. I do mentor other transsexuals. But I hate to see these gay boys coming up now, these youngsters, being schooled by other youngsters who don't know nothing. You know, I want to sell some positive other than the ball scene, reading Shady Queen, homosexuals. And I love those guys. I love them kind of guys. But there's a time and place for everything, and that's not real life. So thank you all for participating in this channel. And thank you all, all of our, all of our subscribers for watching.